Hello and welcome to the 28th episode of the Swinging Report Show. I'm your host, George, with Ryan. Hey. And Aki. Bonjour. Say your full name, Aki, so the people at home can know. Uh, all right. Um, Sounds <laughs> Do, do I really have to say it again? He doesn't actually name? remember. I don't think he's you remember your own name, do you, Aki? He's got to go find goes, a piece of paper. <laughs> it goes, um, Shrezel is uh, Muhammad is uh, Musa Javed Kausa Mia. How, uh, okay, Aki, how does it feel like, how does it feel being Indian? In, oh, no, it's not me. I'm a coolie. <laughs> Come on. What is he's that? From, is that the same thing as Indian? He's Pakistan, isn't he? From Pakistan. Oh, now you go. Now you go again. Even more offensive. How does it feel that your parents like they like terrorists? Is that like? <laughs> do you you can you only like de- date female terrorists? I've never seen female terrorists on TV. What do they look like? They they look like ninjas. Oh, nice. Oh no, we're gonna get complaints about that one actually. <laughs> um. Let's move on. What have you guys been up to? <laughs> I'll start with Sharky. Oh, well, funnily enough, I haven't done a whole lot, but um, I did just move into a new office. Where? At, um, <laughs> <laughs> on Canary Wharf, in fact. What? Yeah, in, in, in London. I heard, wow. that, I, heard that's, that, uh, I heard that's a very <laughs> expensive place to have a, an office. It Guess is, what? and it's, it's, it's not something that right. comes up very often. Yeah, I know. What? What, what do you I'm sell, a, Brian? What Brian? <laughs> What's that? What do you sell in your office? I mean, you gotta have it for some reason, right? I like I I sell like um bombs and terrorist wear. So. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> so you have like a like a secretary and everything? Yeah, she's um she's Pakistanish. <laughs> she's oh, maybe Indian. Pakistan. <laughs> she's a yeah we we just get we just get in so we supply is we order from the internet from say pakistan or <laughs> you know somewhere in that middle easty area we sort of get in the bombs pakistan and sort of not in the middle east. <laughs> we get in the the bombs and um like the the fertilizer and all that stuff and the nails to put in to injure people more and we just sell it on to people in the uk who are crazy so, Aki, I'm pretty sure you buy a lot from Ryan. Yeah, you know, funny enough, I'm also opened up a place in Canary Wharf. I was wondering who that dodgy guy... I was okay. wondering who the dodgy guy across the street was. Well, okay, so how does it feel like competing against another terrorist to sell terrorist weapons to other terrorists? Oh, uh, I ain't ser- selling terrorist weapons. I'm you selling... are from Middle East, right? I'm selling the homes for the terrorists. Oh, okay. And you already sell them. houses. Yes. Even it terrorists caves. need a place to live. <laughs> Buy your own cave. They set it up in London for you. It makes it out, <laughs> it makes it out of concrete and, and um, sticks and things. Actually, yes, so how's business in your new office? Well, we just opened up from Monday, and it's, it's been quite good, quite busy. We've been getting a few instructions for to sell people's houses or rent them out. Although, funny enough, one of my new secretaries, I think this is going to go down with everyone on the podcast, well, her favourite video game is Skies of Arcadia. Nice. nice. You, you and her favourite console. That. She's only 19. So, so what? So 19. What? Legal. Grass on the pitch. Play ball. Nineteen? You're not gonna get arrested, Aki. Jesus! Oh my God, Aki, twenty-three is gonna date a nineteen-year-old. Oh my! The talk of London. <laughs> the talk of London I'm, town. I'm, 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 Terrorist I'm, I'm, dates white girl. <laughs> Ter- oh my! He's Indian. He's. Uh, you know her favorite game is Skies of Arcadia. What is she doing with that Indian man? <laughs> This is uh this is an awkward podcast already. She hot though? But she's alright looking, yeah. She's a Sega she's fan, a... so you can't expect too much. Yeah. Oh the, the, yeah. I'm just screwing around with people. Ooh. I'm just yeah. messing around. Yeah. Well what are you saying to all our our three female listeners, eh? <laughs> I'm not saying anything, I was just joking around. Now I'm I say bad. Um, I'm making you feel bad. Uh, let me talk about what I did this weekend, so we could talk about what we played. Um, all I I haven't really done much this weekend, uh, but I tried to teach my mom how to use Skype. 
Uh, that was that was pretty. Tough. <laughs> she okay. First of all, she wouldn't believe me that it was free to use. <laughs> she kept on thinking like, "Oh, I'm in a charger." <laughs> and I'm like, "Not, it's free." And I kept, kept on trying to teach her, and she's like, "It doesn't make any sense." <laughs> like she wanted me to put numbers in, and I'm like, oh. "It took too long to under." I just make the call for her and give her the thing, tell her to talk. <laughs> I worry about the bill. But to her, <laughs> like Mexican. Yeah, she yeah that she doesn't know anything about computers. Like if literally if I put a computer in front of her, and I told her, "All right, I want you to play this file." And I have a gun in her head, and I'm, I'm going to shoot you in the face if you don't freaking open that file in 10 <laughs> seconds. She would be like, I don't know what the fuck. She wouldn't even know. She asked me what a mouse was for one time. <laughs> so, let's... <laughs> I, could, I could literally have a folder on my desktop called porn, and she and she would not understand how to use a computer to get there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty bad. You know what? That's what that reminds me. A, a while back, my nan... My uh, grandmother, do you say Nan in America? I don't think so. But no. my grandmother said to me, um, she came in, she said, what, why don't you just use a normal TV? <laughs> 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 like she, I was sitting in front of my computer and she was like, you know, why, why do you look at that TV? Why don't you just use a normal one like everyone else? I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> did, did, you, did you try explaining to her what a computer was? No, I just, I just let her go. Just let, I just like, whatever. My uh, my yeah, uncle has like the the weirdest setup for his computer. He has it hooked up to a big screen TV, but like the desk and the keyboard are like right in front of it, so I can't see shit when I'm on, on their computer. <laughs> and it's all you know. The funny thing is, I have exactly the same setup in my study. That why do you have it like that? You can't even see if it's close too close. It's like. <sighs> I I know, but it's like well, we were just messing around one day, and because my ne- I wanted to like show my nephew, oh, look how amazing this is, and he'd be so surprised at it. And ever since then, we just haven't been um, bothered to change it back. Lazy, that's what it Lazy. is. Yeah. And you can play, you can watch BBC News on H- HD now. TV. Why would you want to see news in HD? That's boring. <laughs> I actually have not, but I do know one of the one of the TV companies, Sky, made a really big deal about news channel in HD and being the first news news channel for uh, people with HD TVs. Really? Anyone? Except, except yeah. news is like news; it's just noise. It's just, it's, you can have yeah. a radio, and you'll, you'll get you can have the radio, and you can have the same thing out of it. Or why not just like go on a website and like just read all the headlines? That's all you need. In- yeah, like the Onion. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I, I really have no idea, but Sky have like tried to go with the latest gimmick. They're, they're trying to do 3D TV as well and pushing it really hard. Oh, that's what I want, news in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I can't wait. Fuck. Have you guys seen that naked news where the women take their clothes off slowly? Yeah, we had to what? pay money for it. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying that's that's a good idea. That's still getting paid to take your clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Also, also if you're into that, Aki. What? You also have dudes on there if you're into that shit. Uh, only if you're there, George. Uh, nah. It'd be kind of awkward to watch dudes take. He's done a couple of reports. George has done a couple of like little reports. Uh, did it, did it, it'd be tiny. <laughs> did, it, did someone ask on our t- on our Twitter account? They wanted Barry to strip off for the the whole. We had like 200 comments on Twitter or something for Sonic CD, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, Barry can't strip because he's grounded. <laughs> oh, well, he couldn't get on. Oh, Barry's not on this week because we can't get a good time with Aki and Barry at the same time. So we decided to go with Aki this week. Yeah, but how do you know I'm not actually Barry? I don't know that. Maybe it's just <laughs> Barry. Barry's like uh, has two accounts and like he has two personas, and uh, he makes me choose between them all the time, so I can be heartbroken. Well, maybe no, Aki has the the Barry persona. It may be. Maybe when well when Barry wants to become me, he just applies bleach, and when I want to become Barry, I just apply chocolate. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't know but... what's happening either. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, what we've been, what we have been playing. I'll start before we move on. Sorry. Wait, I forgot. What, nah, forget it. It's not even that good. 
<laughs> Keep going. Huh? What have you been playing, Ryan? Oh, what have I been playing? Yeah. Um. Uh, wait. Let me just think. Let me think. Have I have I been playing anything? Not nothing really. Just uh, I wish I was. I wish I could say I had been. But the thing is, I've just um like I'm still redecorating my room and stuff, and I've got nothing plugged in, so I've not played anything. But I've thought about playing uh, Jet Set Radio now. So oh, I thought well, about it's that. It's been sitting there like, oh man, I'm all high on these like paint themes. I can't wait to play Jet Set Radio. <laughs> paint some more. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Aki, what have you been playing? Oh, I'm playing. <laughs> well, fuck I'm about the bug. You, Aki. Jesus Christ. It sounded like I was <laughs> Aki. He's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Uh, um, I'll tell you a funny story about that later on, but not during the podcast. Anyway, uh, after- I've been playing Rayman. <laughs> yeah, afterwards, yeah. Afterwards, wink, wink. Uh, I've been playing Rayman Origins. Recently. Really? You like the game? Yeah. I was, well, I got it for £20. That's like oh, half price, but I'm actually surprised how good it was. I didn't really think it'd be that good or it would look that great in motion by the, well, towards when it was getting released. Before pre-hype, I was really hyped for the game, but then it kind of fell off after I found out it was retail. And now I'm just recently bought. I'm like, oh wow, this this is actually it would have been worth the forty pounds if I'd paid for it. But it's really well made and great game, I think. It looks pretty decent. I like the demo. Yeah. I haven't bought it yet. I want to buy it. I think I think if you go with some, if you do co-op, it's also pretty fun. Uh, but it's it's a bit of the stuff like. Um, perfectly get the best score on a level you need to be able to chain everything properly so you kind of have to know where everything is to do the best of the level uh, but since, since both levels are about a minute and 30 seconds long it's like not hard to remember oh well, that's pretty good yeah i haven't played it yet but it looks pretty good i, I never liked co-op in those like four player games because no. The platforming, it just seems like somebody's going way too fast and everybody else does. Yeah, that still happens here. Because there's some levels in, Ray- in Rayman Origins where like you're going down streams of water or slides and eventually someone will go ahead of everyone else and then everyone else pops. Yeah. And you just have to hope that person doesn't jump into a spike or else you have to restart the whole level again. I think if you're going to make a platforming co-op game, you're going to have to uh, have a designed... I mean, pl- you know, like design level, yeah, yeah, or split screen, uh, or split like how Renegade Ops did it. I thought that was a really good way they did it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Outside of that, outside of that, I've also been playing the binary domain demo for the release tomorrow. Quite good, quite good. I enjoy it. <laughs> oh, uh, I've been playing uh, uh, Mario and Sonic on the 3DS, and uh, <sighs> uh, uh, what? <laughs> what did I do? I just I just sighed disapprovingly. Oh well, I, I have to review it. I mean, I'm doing it for the site. Um, it's actually a pretty decent game. I mean, they added story mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think it might What's have been the on the story? last game. I didn't play the last game though. The winter. What's the story? Does it? Does it does I don't know. I actually I didn't even start its story. I was just barely practicing. I haven't really got into it. And then uh, House of the Dead three. Ah. I've been playing that on PSN too. Any good? All right, all right. It's just House of the Dead, I guess, on PSN with a new, uh, I mean, a few new things added on. Um, apparently, there's an interview if you uh, if you beat it. I haven't I haven't beat it. I was just playing like a few levels. Yeah, I haven't really been playing it. The problem is that uh, I've been busy this week, sort of. Yeah, I I read about the I read up the interview because it's from Cory Maru from. Uh... House of the Dead website thing, yep. uh, linked it, and he showed it to me. I, I, it's kind of funny how serious the interview uh, they are about the story, considering how the story actually is. Yeah, you know it's weird like, though. A... So, so I go on um, YouTube sometimes and look up just the gameplay. I haven't for ages, but and there's so many people discussing the story of House of the Dead, like what how important it is and. And I'm like, this. Where do you people come from? 
what's wrong with you people? The story's, <laughs> the story's madness. There's no story. It's just, ugh, dogs of the AMS. It's all that. There's no, there's no story. But I've seen so many people I, just talking about it. I, that's exactly... I was like, it's like there's a story, but it's like a campy B-movie story that you're not meant to pay too much attention. If it's it doesn't like, make any sense. It's like kind of like those people that that you see on forums trying to discuss like you know that Conan Barbarian movie that remake came out and they're like oh this movie sucks compared to the first movie with with Arnold and I'm just thinking to myself wait these people are actually defending the first movie saying it like that it was like they're acting like it was like a fucking a Hallmark movie and shit like you know what I mean the first Conan movie was pretty bad and I like it cuz it was bad it's like a cheesy movie it's not a good good movie. I wouldn't consider it amazing. I but like bad movies. I like bad movies, and I think some bad movies are good. I don't know. I like Arnold movies. I like Arnold movies too. It's so cheesy. But I'm watching. <laughs> They're always bad. I'm not. I'm not watching it for the uh, amazing acting. But yeah, I got you. Um, Has he ever been in the movie that's been good? Terminator. Oh yes, of course. Terminator Two. That was badass. Yeah. I like the first okay, one too. But... I thought the first, uh, one, the first one's alright. I thought I, I liked his character better in the first one just because he, he looked it was so robotic, like which is yeah. I guess kind of goes with the theme of this podcast, robot theme. Yeah. Um, he was really really like cold blooded. He would like break down to, to, like a wall and then pull out a gun and shoot people in the face. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but watch I, the... I, I... Oh, gone. I, I was gonna say, but I I think I like the T one thousand bit better because he's like such a scrawny looking guy, but he's got those murderous eyes. Yeah, always. You know who I hated? That robot from three. Like, so. Oh, was it yeah. A female. Yeah. Is that a female robot? Yeah. They should not. Be, why would they do that? Why yeah, would they ever do that? Because they were supposed to be like, oh, this one looks even less threatening. They, you know what I mean? It was supposed to be that she was super deadly, but, like, she didn't look threatening because. So she could, you know, walk around the world and find John Connor. Which I guess makes sense, but, like, the way she acted and, like, the way they directed the fights made no sense. Like,. She's destroying all this shit just to find one person, and she can't even kill them. And then when she has a chance to kill them, she, like, grabs a gun, and, and then instead of just shooting them, she, like, walks up to the person to shoot them. And then, like, Arnold <laughs> comes out of nowhere. Man, fuck that movie. I don't want to talk about that movie. It's <laughs> yeah. angry. You, you know what? You know what? That alternate ending for Terminator 2 that's flowing around uh, YouTube, that's the ending. Sarah Connor grew old, and John Connor became a senator for the United States. That's did you ever see that? Did, did you ever see that alternate no. ending? Oh, well, yeah. they, they, they've they released it. I take that as how it ended. They should have. Ev- everything else is a bad dream that Sarah Connor had after she had too much cheese. Uh-huh. <laughs> or, uh, Aki. Aki, can you eat yeah? cheese? Yeah, can you? Of course, cheese? yeah. Can if, you eat no, you... cheese? I'm talking specifically about you. Can you eat yeah. cheese? Yes, it's, it's Hindus who can't eat cheese. No, I wasn't Milk. talking religiously, but oh. I read a thing a while back that um, uh, a lot of races can't actually process cheese properly. Oh, no, I can. Of course. <laughs> I if, I can I process just... chi- if I can process chilies, I can process cheese. There you go. Not necessarily. <laughs> oh, shut up. Um, okay. We're, no, we're just, I'm, just, I'm oh. messing with you. We're we're going off topic. I'm gonna move to the <laughs> news. Uh, rumor: Seaman is uh being revived and coming to coming. I spelled coming correct actually, not C U M M I N G. Um, to 3DS. Uh, Sharky, how does that make you feel? I know you're a Seaman fan. I I do quite like Seaman sometimes. Uh, yeah. I like the way it, I like the way it smells. <laughs> but um, <laughs> back back to the game. Um, does, does it smell like a fisherman's pot? No, it smells sort of like bleach, doesn't it? Man, I was... <laughs> anyway, wait, let's just go back to the game, shall we? Yes. Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I like Seaman. It's pretty good. It's a good game. Good fun. Um, I, I like Leonard Nimoy. Is that his name? Yeah. I like I like his depressing voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear when I wake up. Uh, I think it's kind of... I don't know, dude. I don't think... It's been a while since this developer has wanted to bring back this bizarre game, and I don't think I think before it was supposed to come to like I think it was like an iPhone game, and then like Apple didn't allow it. 
Yeah. It came out on P- it came out on the PlayStation Two about four or five years ago, didn't it? It did, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, can't, I can't remember how how long, but I think it was about five years. Yeah, I don't know this developer. I don't know. I don't. I guess it would be cool to have, but I don't see myself getting too excited. I liked the first game for what it was, but it wasn't like a game I was like, "Oh my god, this game's amazing!" Sega just <laughs> changed everything. Like I thought, kind of, I, I like those pet games. So to me, it's kind of boring. I mean, it was interesting to watch a, a human fish face, <laughs> me, but kind of boring after after a while. I think it was yeah. one of those quirky, it was one of those quirky Dreamcast because Dreamcast has a lot of those niche type of titles and stylistic. It's one of those titles that if you take away from the Dreamcast, it's not good by itself. But during the period when the Dreamcast was up and running, having Seaman was like amazing. But right now it wouldn't so much be. So I'm not I'm not really really too bothered about it coming to the 3DS. Okay, moving on. Uh, Virtual Tennis Forum Vita comes out. Worth the uh, worth the price to rebuy, I guess. Uh, I'm not even buying a Vita. <coughs> oh, man. I, mean, I didn't even buy a Vita either, but I don't think I would buy Virtual Tennis 4 as a launch title, um, especially since it has worse graphics than the PS3 one. I don't know why anybody would want it. Um, I th- How would you be able to tell? You'd have to squint your eyes. It's not even. It's a five-inch screen. You could tell. My my TV's five inches. I'm joking around. Um, uh, no, I don't mind it. I, I hate the fact that Vita's getting all these ports. To be honest, I'm not gonna buy Vita until they get original content. I'm afraid that I'm just gonna have a, a, a PS3 that's a mini PS3. I don't want that. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, doesn't that what happened to the PSP or sort of? The PSP had some pretty good content. I just think it was piracy that fucked it over. And the other day. Yeah, but uh, yeah. what about you, Sharky? I don't like handheld consoles. <laughs> Fuck it. Right, straight to the that's, point. That's all you got. <laughs> oh, let's move on. That's it. Uh, <laughs> Rin, Bionic Commando developer, was working on a Streets of Rage remix. Uh, streets and artwork got leaked. Uh, what do you guys think? Good or bad? Aki, I'll let oh. you go. Oh well, what when you saw the. The, the actual artwork, so the colored traditional art, you're like, oh yeah, this is pretty good. This is a good drawing they've got going. And then you actually see the actual model. It's like, no, this this is no, no. What what are you doing? This is terrible. Stop it. It looked a lot in the style of a uh, Bionic Commando. It's probably the, you know what I mean. Yeah, but it's like Streets of Rage was like bright, flashy graphics, and then they kind of dulled it down. What what, what happened uh, to the contrast? The blue- yeah. What's going on? It's like it—it it just didn't suit Streets of Rage. They should have—they with... uh, should have animated it. And yeah, I, you know, I—you know, I hate. I can't stand like fake shadowing anymore in games. Like that sort of drawn-on shadowing on models. You know, when they got like shadows under their ar- under their arms and between their muscles and stuff. That's sort of like actually drawn on the model. It looks so crap. And that, it was just full of that rubbish. There's no lighting at all. Yeah, that, that 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 makes me angry. I don't know why. It just does. The whole yeah, thing. I think Grin could have probably delivered a, a pretty solid experience, but I think the art style was gonna make me angry. I don't think they're very good. I think they're more of a team you go to when you want to like. I think what people were gonna like in that game was gonna. No, nah, I think a lot of fans were gonna get mad. Actually, I think they were they were gonna just basically do the Bionic Commando thing, where it's kind of like the original with new stuff yeah. to unlock. And like and, a funny script, and more than likely the user wasn't going to do any of the soundtrack, so that's also lost a lot of the charm there. Yeah, it was most likely going to feature remixes anyway. But yeah, yeah. to hear new music. Yeah, definitely because when you take away the soundtrack, the the graphics are no longer bright and colorful. It's, it just doesn't feel like Streets of Rage anymore. It feels like I don't know, Final Fight. <coughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, it's pretty. It's most likely Sega's we're still working with another development team on bringing back Streets of Rage. I mean, if if they weren't planning on bringing it back, then they wouldn't have stopped those uh, developers from uh, distributing their uh, remake. I want them to. I want them to work on that remake. I think. Like they... uh, I think that's most likely what happened. I mean, Sega's already showing they're not afraid to work with uh, community people like that. Uh, the guy that did the Sonic CD. Exactly. Right that's ahead. exactly what I want from them. I want them to do that, but with this. 
That'd be nice. Yeah, that I think that'd be brilliant. Actually, they should try to reach out a bit more. Although at the same time, be careful of of who they select because of certain events that have happened recently in the Sonic fan community that I might not be able to delve further Talk in. Talk about it. I haven't, I haven't heard. T- tell me. Tell uh, me about it. Come on. Bring it out. Well, Bring it. okay. You know that tweaker from Sonic Retro? No, yes. but I'll go with it. Yeah, I know who he is. He's been done for some pretty serious criminal charges. He's like a, he's like really? a pedophile, isn't he? He, well, okay, George just said it, so that's fine by that's me, what I yes. Heard. That's what I heard. I mean, I'm not going to... If that's what he is, that's what he is. I mean, I'm not going to be like, you know, that's what I heard. I mean, if he has a problem with it, he, I mean, he can email us and, I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll hear his side of the story, but that's what isn't I heard. He supposed, isn't he supposed to be banged up in jail at the moment? I have no so, idea. I'm pretty sure he has a, tw- he has a Twitter account. Yeah, he does. So he, but, he's, like, he's, a, he's a tweaker of children, really. Yeah, apparently yeah. so, yes. <laughs> apparently the reason he got into the whole Sonic fandom is for that as well. That's well, what I heard this by from Sanus and Kojin, so it might not even be true. Yeah. <laughs> it's but no, I, I saw the forum post from Sonic Retro that says he's no longer part of Sonic Retro. So Probably the best idea for them. That's a big problem. site. Yes. Yeah. So, when did all this come out? It's been a while. I've heard it a long yeah. time ago. It didn't, do you remember, um, uh, fucking, what's it called? Sonic Cult. Because yeah. the guy who ran that, he went to prison for being a bit of a... as well. Yes, <laughs> he did something. I, I, I am... This is what's kind of surprising, that Tweaker was supposed to be really in there with Sega and their people. They really should try to pick the people they decide... To bring into the fold a bit more wisely. Well, to be fair, it, you can't. Re- I mean, if if he's in disguise and doesn't have his mustache on, then <laughs> it's really hard to figure <laughs> it out. It's, it's, yeah, it's hard because I mean, my maths teacher was a raging paedophile, and he went to prison just a while back. What <laughs> really? Yeah, seriously, they, they they went and picked him up out of school and everything. His name was Mr. Forno. Oh my god, how can they not even know by that name? Like, right away, know, that's... like, dude, this guy's about to fuck some kids right now. <laughs> you know what? I was insulted because he didn't rape me. That is insulting. Like, he's... I, am, I not, am I not fucking good enough? I want to go there. I want to go back to school. Like, I wish I was in school then, so I could go out in front of him and go, well, as, as he's being taken away, I go, why wasn't I good enough? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I did my fucking homework. <laughs> fuck me, that's what I expect. Naughty boy. I was a naughty boy. You could have had me. I wouldn't have told nobody. You never would have gotten arrested. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this, really game, this, this, this podcast is turning fucked up. Anyway, um, let's move on to uh, Sega teaming up with Capcom and Namco to develop a 3DS game. Good or bad? Yay! Nice. At the Capcom part. No, at the Namco part. Namco? They're probably going to have all their, like, Naruto characters. I can't wait. Um <laughs> Is it going to be a crossover? Like, what is it? I don't understand. Nobody knows. It's just... it's uh, Nobody knows what, what it's going to be, what kind of game it is. It Nothing. Like, we don't know anything about it. In Capcom, they're going to be like, all right, Capcom versus Sega versus uh, Namco. And then, like, eight months later, we'll make a super Capcom versus Sega versus Namco. And then, a month later, we'll make Namco versus Sega versus... And then they'll just switch it off and tell Sega... But versus- get- and guess what, though, George? What? Mega Man will be in any version. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? I didn't hear. Mega Man. Mega Man. It makes this... Capcom's like, yeah, we'll put him as DLC, and then they'll never do it. <laughs> Just make me buy the game. Man, if that happens, I'd be pissed if that's what they release. I want to see an, uh, an, uh, like an adventure game. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't get it. Like, what are they going to do? Like, is it three development teams? I think, what, um, you... there's a different, completely different development team working on it. Like, oh, what yeah, they... Bro, uh, Bruce Perto, or whatever their name is. Bruce Perto. They, they make the, the, you know, the Super Robot Wars games in Japan. Yeah. Those games. That, that it's, one's it's developed. then, basically. And, <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to figure out how Sega and Sega's characters are going to mix in with Namco and Capcom. So uh-uh. you need to start to think about it. Didn't Namco and Capcom have a game or some shit where it was like a card playing game? 
Yeah, yeah that was, that Capcom was on Capcom versus now. Namco. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what they're going to do. Man, I'm pissed now. It's probably not going to release Heroes either, if, if that game's anything to go by. What, uh, what would you like it to be? Me? Yeah. I would like it to be an adventure game, like, uh, original character, original everything, but, like, in the world, there's, like, little references to, like, all three developers. I mean, p- publishers. Uh, I'd like it if it was Sega versus Namco and Capcom. Yeah, they need to come... And you, who and you have, who you the have fuck take... is Namco gonna have in the fucking... in their fucking roster, like... The guy Callum? from Slaved who fucking three people bought his game? Splatterhouse? Splatterhouse, literally, look at all the like the, their fucking <laughs> their IPs aren't very good. Well, that, um... I, I was actually thinking about it the other day. I was trying to make a tweet about it. I was thinking, all right, you got Kazuma, uh, you can say Dante. Who the hell can you get from Nabco except from characters from Tekken? And I was taking a good whole twenty minutes to think up. Oh, oh fuck it, I'm not doing this. So they're just gonna be Tekken, Tekken, Soul Calibur, basically characters. And that that Sonic knockoff. With the with the thing with the long ears, what Sonic knock? Yeah. Off? Oh, you know, uh, you know that thing that Shady is going to, on about. Uh, oh, Colono. Oh, yeah, you could have. Oh, oh, that. Uh. Something about colons or something. This fuck. Oh, what, Capcom what? had a furry character. I can't think of Capcom having a furry character. Was that what about that one from Darkstalkers? The F- Felicia. Or whatever Felicia. Well, yeah, she's. I mean, she's all right. I mean, I mean, you do her. work, but like, I don't think the furries are gonna like that. It's not animal enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that's like, like they could have like oh. Sonic with that rip off. Zach and Wiki. Huh? Oh no, one better. They can have uh, Amatarasi from uh, Okami. That's true. Yeah, there you go. That's the, even I mean, more furry for you. They can make a little platforming game, all three together. Let's go. Um, Capcom, Sega, and Namco at the Olympic Games. Can't wait. <laughs> um, oh, Sonic Hero- Sonic Heroes thinks up the European PSN store. What other Sega games do you want to see released on PSN? Aki? Oh, um, well, okay, um... We, uh, you know, I could go on forever. We can say Shenmue. We can say no, no. I'm Shinobi. saying re-release. They had to be. Re- these are PS2 classics, so they had to be re-released on the PS2 first. Oh, okay. Yakuza One and Two. Um, yeah. I think Gungrave's on the on PS and yep. uh, European store now, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think. Okay, so. I don't want to worry about that. Shinobi. Oh, I don't know why Shinobi. Because it's kind of like annoying that they they've kind of completely dropped Shinobi. Yeah, I realized they had the 3DS game a while ago, but that but was a major. Should have released the PS2 one just to promote it. Yeah, I think they should. They should have really. And uh, Virtual Fighter 4, which is my favorite uh, Virtual Fighter game as well. You pretty much just said every single good game. I think Ryan's gonna have just just gonna have to agree. <laughs> He's got I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. Sort of this. Oh, they re they re release Knights on the oh. PS2, so they oh, can re re release oh. it. Fuck yeah! Full release. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want Yakuza One, but with the option of Japanese vocals and fixed loading. That's it. Oh, I'll be happy as fuck. Oh man, I pay fifteen bucks for that. <laughs> Say, take my money, please. I don't need it. I don't want it. I just need it. I, Cause I, <laughs> I play. Yakuza, like I was trying when I played four, I replayed one and two, and it was so weird going back to one with the English vocals, cause everybody's like, "What the fuck are you looking at?" And it's like, oh, "Fuck, motherfucker!" And it's like, "Ugh," it sounds like one of our podcasts. This is terrible. <laughs> so well, there you go. Uh, they... Go on. No, I, was, I was gonna say oh, there you go. Now you know who's gonna be writing the dialogue for Yakuza Five. Me. <laughs> uh, uh, Jet Set Radio coming to PSN slash Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah. Idea or a bad idea? It's a brilliant idea. It's I mean, like... I was thinking about it as a good and bad idea. I was thinking about it in a good sense. Is like, oh, any any Jet Set Radio is a good I- Jet Set Radio. But then again. Like, P- 
people got really mad at the Sonic Adventure and like the other ports, like Crazy Taxi, because like they changed things. Yeah, I think if the port port isn't that good, then yeah, it's a bad idea. But if they're gonna make a port like Daytona or Afterburner or not... Guardian or just basically countless others, then it'd be a really good idea. I... And I think a lot. Of... This is Sega's like this is. They could change around their uh, image of their, P- you know, Dreamcast re-releases because they've delayed the they've delayed this announcement far enough. I'm assuming they they have something impressive to show because it's been almost a year since one's been. No, it hasn't been a year. Did, did you did you know that Jet Set Radio was uh, trending worldwide on Twitter? Yes, uh, so I'm saying I think Sega has pretty big plans for the Jet Set Radio release. Really. Yes, no. Have... Sh- why does why does a Shenmue trend? Well, what what the fuck is trending? Trend trending is like it's been mentioned so many times on Twitter that it's uh like it ranks up as the most used phrase. So All right. Video was the number one used like it was like one of the top five used phrases in the world on Twitter. You know, uh, talking nice. about tre- uh, trending on Twitter, I had to change it to Japanese. Lo- the location because every fucking time when I put it on the United Kingdom, every day someone would mention Justin Bieber. No! Stop following me! Why are people that... talking about Justin Bieber? Because he has a fucking voice of an angel. He's beautiful. He he has he's a great <laughs> attitude. All right, George, That's, you're right. Great hair. I've really, I've, I've really, I've really insulted George here. But um, <laughs> respect. No, but I'm a. Be- I don't really know. I've never heard any of his songs or anything. I, well, I know. I sort of know what he looks like now because people have just drummed it into me enough. But I've. I don't know anything about him. Dude, Shark, you're just mad, dude. He <laughs> totally let fucking Justin Bieber fuck your girlfriend. Don't lie, dude. He's what a pretty kid, have... yeah, dude. He do whatever he wants. He's rich as fuck. Well, I've seen what? him. And if he did have sex with my girlfriend, it would be a bit like lesbians. And I'd be down with that. So, yeah, okay. He's a, yeah, well, <laughs> there you go. See, he's okay with it. I told That's... you guys. I was going to say, uh, when I first heard of Just well, I only heard his voice first. I, I, originally, I just presumed, oh, it's a black girl. Oh, she, she's got a good voice, I guess, and all that. After a while, I find out it's Justin, his name's Justin. I was like, oh, black kid. Oh, okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And after a while, I find he's a white, uh, blonde-haired uh, white guy. Wow. So racist. Just because he was the wrong <laughs> ethnicity doesn't mean he should hate him, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> ah, you're so racist. Um, I was gonna say one more thing about Jet Set Radio. Um, I don't know if it has widescreen yet, but uh, I hope it does. So I don't. I mean, and you know, that's it. Oh, and well, if, if they could kill down the loadings, that'd be nice. Also, I should point out that what I'm what I'm very worried about is they have to leave out some of the soundtrack because it's some of its licensed stuff. Well, like crap, like Rob Zombie, I'm good. They could leave that out. They could just use the European and Japanese soundtrack. We, we didn't get Rob's. I don't know anything about that. But there was definitely, um, there was some other ones yeah. that they might not get. Yeah, that's that's all I'm worried about, really. I think they could kind of like, you know, dodge around this if they use actual Sega tracks in that, in the place of that. Like something from Sonic Rush, even. Or have the guy just whip up a new soundtrack. Well, yes, well, true. A few, a few Do like a remix version of a track. I, I think I think the big problem with Crazy Taxi wasn't that they ch- changed the music. It's they picked really god-awful songs to represent Crazy Taxi. Yeah. Like, like come on. Come on. What, what, what was that? They were pretty terrible the whole time anyway, though. They were always terrible. It's just not the good time, kind of terrible you remember as a kid. <laughs> I, I suppose I suppose so, but it it kind of got worse. Let's just say it was worse. The reason that they changed the crazy soundtrack uh, sound um, when the, the reason they changed it, it makes sense though because Crazy Taxi was all like all the ta- all the songs they had were all licensed by big bands mm-hmm. compared to like fucking um, who, compared to Jet Set Radio, whose most of the songs came from an in-house artist and the other ones were like a japanese artist that like doesn't sell that many albums so it's not that big a deal oh yeah i suppose so but yeah whatever oh sonic I just... oh i was in, i was gonna do the other topic because this is the last sega news bit then we could go on to the binary domain talk yay sonic 4 episode 2 gets gameplay trailer what do you guys think Ooh. 
What? Aki, you don't like it? All right, I'll I'll kind of uh, I'll start off with what Sonic Fours I like about it. The episode two is they've actually moved on to polygon graphics, which I think they should have done from the beginning. I really have no idea why everyone keeps going on about sprites um, for Sonic Four. I was thinking we've got plenty of sprite-based games. Let's have one with a few polygons. Yeah, we have pe- plenty of polygon polygon Sonic games though too. Yeah, about strictly two D. Mm, Sonic yeah, exactly. if you play half of it <laughs> that's not going to work George okay. anyway um, <laughs> yeah I like that but, but during the trailer it's like it starts off quite good and then they go on to showing the you know the, the springs that lead you everywhere and automated gameplay segments that's like this, this isn't the stuff that was what made say the classic Sonic or or Sonic Colors, or um, or, or the segments from Sonic Generation, enjoyable. It, it was when I could actually control my own character. And I'm worried that's going to ruin the game, that it becomes too autopilot. Shark, oh, yeah. Well, uh, I'll, I, have, I have something to say about that. I just want Shark you to go first before me. Um, I think it looked pretty good. There's some running animations that kind of look a bit weird, I don't know. Um, I saw those what they called the, the lock-on things, like a crosshair type thing. Yeah. And I don't, I don't actually care about that in the slightest, to be honest. But I know some people on our forum make a big stink. Actually, just one guy really makes a big stink about that. And um, you know, names, names. Yeah, uh, we all know who it is. Crazy yeah. tales. <laughs> <laughs> His name says it all. Um, yeah. I, I would like to see more before I pass judgment, but from the gameplay trailer, it looked like they were trying to, like, like, it, it feels like Sega of America is like, alright, we gotta make a fucking trailer, and, like, one of the guys is like, alright, let's just do me playing the level, no, and then, like, somebody's like, no, 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 I'm gonna cut and slice all the most exciting pieces, and I'm putting it together on a fucking, in the trailer, so I think there's more to the level. It seems like all the audio pilots and the little bump in the bumps were all edited together because it kind of looks like the most exciting thing, I guess, when you play a Sonic game. But the swimming looked pretty cool. I didn't know Sonic could swim. Is that, is that, is that you? He can swim. When did, no, he's never meant to swim. Isn't he Dave on the trailer ruined, swimming? They've ruined Sonic there. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Just... Ta- Tails was dragging him through the... Oh, through the... okay, yeah. Tails was dragging him. Yeah, it's pre- I thought that was pretty cool. And I like the way they, you, they're they actually using Tails to do stuff. Like, you know, yeah. swimming. Yeah, t- I Tails... I, I, I liked a few... Of the, when they started the trailer, trailer off, you know there's this, like, this floor that's coming down towards you? Yeah. I'm sure you remember. Yeah. That looks... I thought that looked quite... I thought that looked good. Uh, there's probably quite a few gimmicks that I'm going to enjoy, but I'm just worried about the level design in total. And another thing I noticed is one of the badniks, I'm not sure if it was a badnik or a boss, but he takes, like, Sonic hom- homing attacks him about two or three times, and he's still not dead. Like, no, no, we, we, we had that with Sonic. the bear, right? Yeah, that, the bear. I'm, I'm pretty sure the bear is a boss, isn't he? Is he? Oh, okay, if it's a boss, it's acceptable. But, I, I think he was he was announced as a boss, wasn't he? Was he? I think. Like I don't know. I feel like I've seen. I've like, seen. Art. Yeah, I've seen him too. I don't know if he was announced as a boss. I, I wish. Yeah, I had, I this is I wish you had. I, 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 I do remember Barry made a gif with the top part of the bear opening up, and there was a Robotnik behind it, and then closing again. But I don't know if it was just speculation or if he was confirming something. Hmm. We'll see. I guess. It's pretty interesting. I like I like some of the stuff that I saw. Some of the stuff got me worried, but I rather see, I have to see a whole level design before I complain. Because even Sonic Three, if I, if I wanted to, I could put down I could put a trailer where it looks like it's automated. But obviously, Sonic Three and Sonic Two aren't automated games. But there's sections where it is. Mm, I, I suppose so. So yes, I, guess, well, I, I I would give them the benefit of a doubt until I see a whole level. I guess. But I, I think I, it really depends because if you told me if I knew who was developing it, I'm I'm more willing to give Sonic Team the benefit of the doubt now than Dimps. Like if you told me oh Sonic Team's making that, I'll say all right, I 
I'll give them a slight benefit of the doubt. But if you me Dimps is making us, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't think it doesn't it's look very Dimps to me. It doesn't look like them. It looks too good. <laughs> That's true. Oh, um, remember, Dimps used to be good a long time ago. There's not bad sprites and stuff. Let's not talk about the ancient bats. <laughs> um, all right, now we can move on to the the stuff, the juice, the meat. Um, binary domain de- debuts number two in Japan for PS3. 360 didn't chart. Uh, good or bad? Uh, wait, wait, uh, ask, me uh, ask me first. Ask me first. Is that good that it charted number two in Japan? It's not number one. Aki's gonna Damn, go on I... for like for like a week. So ask me. I ask you. I'm asking uh, you, man. What? Oh, okay. Um, I have nothing to say about it. Oh, Aki. Right. Aki. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say. Ah, <laughs> I I find it funny that the 360 version didn't try at all, so it sold less than 4,000 units. That's pretty bad. Uh, that that is very bad. I, I even Vanquish, which Vanquish's total PS3 plus 360 for the first week is the. Uh, Boundary Domain's PlayStation 3 version outdoes on its first week. So that shows you how bad the 360 version of Boundary Domain did. And this is despite everyone who keeps saying Sega of Japan should make a 360 version of the Yakuza series. Which this is pretty much showing that there is no fuck, there is no, uh, there is no yeah, fans of the Yakuza team on 360. It feels like they already all bought a PS3 and they've stuck to that. Yeah, more or less. That's, that, that's what it feels like. Although, it's kind of funny that a dating game beat Binary Domain. Well, actually, no, it's Japan. It's, it shouldn't be that funny. <laughs> it's they, just they, sad. they should have added hostesses in Binary Domain. It would have debuted number one. They should have added robotic hosts. Is... Robot, robotic transsexual hosts. That's my favorite. Those are my favorite. How do you know? <laughs> um... But, yeah, that's pretty good. I uh, I wish it was number one. How much units did it do? I forgot. Like one seventy. Uh, it did seventy four thousand units. So that's, that's not that like, good. Uh, that's not that good though. That's not going to catch up to uh, Yakuza four, who did half a million in its lifetime, right? Yeah, but that that's Yakuza, and and the best shooter in Japan, uh, Modern Warfare, hasn't even gone to half a million. It's like three hundred thousand. So what? Do you, how much units do you think? Uh, Binary to- domain is going to do worldwide. Well, oh, I, I should mention as well that I predicted 75k on Twitter and it got 74, so I'm quite good at predictions. Yes. All right, predict well, which is going to get worldwide then, Mister. I'm I'm so fucking awesome. Oh, well, now you put me on the spot, George. What? Now I'm now I'm stressed out. Breathe. <sighs> I feel like I'm pregnant. Anyway, um. I I think uh, for their Sega stock report, they're gonna say Binary Domain's done nine hundred thousand units. I think it will. I don't think it'll meet their target of one point one million. They're expecting it to sell, mainly because I don't think Sega or America or Europe have marketed it enough. Yeah, I think it's gonna do half a million if they're lucky. Sorry, I think uh, I think Europe and uh, America kind of dropped the ball on it. I mm. think it feels like. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like there's been enough talk about it. And it's already going to come out. That's all. Yeah. For for a major game that's meant to be something they've they've made the Yakuza team the Yakuza team's done. It really doesn't feel like it's a major game. Like the hype's just died up completely after the demo was released. It reminds me of like Syndicate, the other game they're trying to release. I think it's uh I forgot what company Ubisoft. Um, was it Electronic Arts? Is it Electronic Arts? That one also... The, Electronic Arts released two games recently that, like, I felt had almost no hype. It, like, that, it was, like, an, a medieval game. It's an RPG that I downloaded uh, King, and played. Huh? Kingdoms of, Kingdoms of Arbala or something. Yeah. And I... Pl- no, they, they, it's not just that. Look, think about this. This is what EA's have. Grand Slam Tennis 2, Kingdoms of Arbala, Syndicate, and SSX. Like, and they're going to release Mass Effect 3. Between them, oh well, Mass Effect Three has got a lot of hype, but between the other four, yeah. it's like that. What is? Yeah. Yeah. The, they, they... the problem is that Sega should have really, you know, got up and like said, okay, we're gonna support this title, 
and then like ran a lot of like online hype for it. But it just feels like they don't even care about the title. There, it's like, all right, it's gonna come out, it's gonna bomb, and we'll move on to our, another title. Yeah, it's, like it, with Sonic. Yeah, it seems it seems as though each part of Sega only really care about what they're doing. Like if you notice that the Sega America guys are doing like this Sonic Four thing, they'll hype it up massively. Or Sega Europe, they do it. They've got like um, Football Manager and Total War, and, uh, and you know, and Aliens and uh, and Sonic and Sega Racing and stuff. And they put all their effort into their own stuff, but they ignore the other guys' stuff. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of funny that like Japan ignores the racing titles, the Sonic racing titles, when like Japan fucking should be loving this kind of crap. Like it just seems like Japan it would do pretty well in Japan if it was hyped over there. I think yeah. the problem with I think the problem in Japan is outside of like select series like Yakuza and Border Break or Virtual Fighter, Sega's not a popular brand there. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say um, I don't know. I just think it's funny that Sega's always talking about every year about how they're trying to be like more. Like, they're trying to flow, like, now it's only Sega West, but it's you can still tell there's a difference between the way they handle a game aimed at the European market and a game aimed at an American market, and a Japanese game that is not aimed at any market, apparently. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's in the West. Uh, like, I haven't seen any hype about Rhythm Thief, which is another game that's supposed to be uh, released almost the same time as Japan. Like, I don't know, somebody's yeah. doing it wrong, so... <laughs> yeah. It's always been the case, though. Yeah, it's always Sega. been the case. It's just, yeah, it's not even online hype. Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to be negative, but it just feels like they could do a lot more, and it won't take that much money. Just passion for the brand, I guess. Yeah. Nobody's as passionate that, as, huh? Yeah, it's it's a real shame of binary domain because I think it's got all the ingredients of being a big seller for Sega. Like they market it, do two million, but I think in the end they're probably only going to be able to ship nine hundred thousand units and. Out of that 900,000 units, I only think about 600,000 probably going to be sold to consumers. So, yeah. Big shame. It's either that or it's going to be, it's going to sell one, 1 million copies in one day and we're all going to be like, what the fuck, who bought it? <laughs> like these Gears of War guys are like, we're waiting for the next Gears of War, but this will do. Um, uh, does, di- uh, does binary domain really need a voice control option? How well did it work for you? Aki, you you were playing it nonstop, so tell me about the voice feature and what do you think about it? Okay, the voice feature is supposed to be get you involved with the fight or oh, whatever. I understand, and... I understand what it's supposed to do, but I'm saying like, does it work to, for you? Do you think it's worth it, or would you rather not have it? Um, I I've tried doing it, and like sometimes for some reason I, I'm like um, I have to I just. Working, but now I can't remember how, what I adjusted it to, so it's like kind of difficult. Like sometimes I'm not saying anything. I, I'm not even breathing heavily or anything. I'm just walking, and <laughs> you're always breathing and heavily. Dad, no, I'm joking around. Go on. <laughs> Dad, Dad would just randomly say "Faye," and she's like, "What?" Like, I didn't say anything, and then it, it would it it just doesn't it, it keeps picking up me saying "Faye" or "fuck" or random f words. Yeah. Well, let words that start with F. It's like, I'm not saying that. So I have to calibrate a bit, but I, I'm not sure if it's mainly my headset because I use this one for my PlayStation 3. So it could be just it's not a very good headset. I'm actually pretty sure I read a uh, post on possibly NeoGAF and um, someone was saying they had the same problem and I noticed the list of words they had were all F words as well. So I think it might be something with the game. Yeah, I think it's with the game too. I actually tried, and it didn't seem to me like it worked very well. Like, I would like put it up, and I'd be like, "Go over there," or like, "Shoot," and they would like, like they wouldn't say anything. They'd be all, and then they'll say on the bottom, "Shoot," like a minute later, and then it's like, "All right, boss," and like they'll do do stupid shit. But like, it didn't make me feel more involved. It just felt kind of like uh, it was like Mass Effect kind of like I had a choice of words I could use, and like I. I, I... I, I, I'm really frustrated because I kept saying, I kept trying to tell Kane, Kane, I love you, man. And it didn't respond. I wanted to see what his reaction would be. Yeah. But the game doesn't respond to it. And I randomly kept, I wanted to see what each character would say if I said, hey, I love you. But the game just didn't pick up, love you. Man. 
so much hate. So you fucking cried? <laughs> yeah, in the corner. <laughs> oh, fuck you guys. Well, eh, I don't think it needs it. I think, uh, I mean, there's already choices you could make anyway. Like, if you're yeah, talking to somebody, they, they already have you, they already give you a list of choices. I think what would have been better is, you, you know the words that, that they have on uh, the recognized words? If you could have also customized the buttons that you can place them, so you can put stuff like good job on square and all that, just yeah. so, so you don't always have the same four all the time, and you can change your strategy about. If they do make a sequel to Binary Domain, which is unlikely, considering it's going to bomb, but if they do make a sequel to Binary Domain, I would think I would say that as one of the improvements they could do. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It just uh, all right. Um, the next topic is: Do you think? Oh, do you think that the comparison to Gears of War is unfair? What, hey, 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 what you, game you, you, would you, you, you compare you, Binary Domain to? Let George, me finish George, the sentence, George, Aki, for you all. Know, George, <laughs> you missed the who is your favorite character? Oh, who is your favorite character from Binary Domain so far? Jesus Christ, man, you got mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's very passionate. He's got a favorite. I've, I'm, I'm sticking up for my bro, Negoshi. Yeah, he's not a character, is he? <laughs> <coughs> well, the man that hasn't the... returned our emails. No, I'm <laughs> no, I actually checked up on the interview, and apparently, it's still in the process. So, I'm sorry, Aki. Uh, you, you know, you should have added a, you should have added at the end of that interview. That all of Sega bits are like your loyal fans, and if we you, we would love to have a meet you negotiate. He was he was at a, at a sh- what was he at? I think sometimes he comes in America to promote stuff. Didn't he come to E3? Yeah, he did come to E3 for one day, and then he went back to Japan to promote Yakuza Dead Souls. Good times. That was party day for him. Um. Oh yeah. Who's okay? Who's your favorite character, Ryan? Uh, Ryan hasn't even played the game, so. Oh. Uh, oh. The, the, ro- the robot. Yeah, the robot's my favorite too. Fuck it. All right, <laughs> then you guys win. Next. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I have to agree. Kane is the best. Uh, is- robots are the best usually. So, do you? Th- oh, yeah, the the Gears of War one, man. Do you think the comparison is fair to Gears of War? Um, I read a couple of things where people compare them. So, you you tell me, man. Well, I Negoshi, in an interview, they, they asked him, a CVG, what do you think of that? And he says, well, everyone used to compare Yakuza to Shen, uh, Shenmue, but no one compares it anymore. So I'm sure that once people I play it... it yesterday. Huh? <laughs> My mom's like, the Yakuza game looks pretty fun. And I'm like, eh, it's just Shenmue cologne. <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> Trying to be a hipster, dude. <laughs> um, I kind of think it's... It's sort of it's it's a comparison that can be made, but the great grandest scheme of the game is not really going to be like Gears of War. But I, I mean, it's mainly because of the story. I mean, four hours of cutscenes. Is there even four hours of cutscenes in Gears of War? No, eh, no, no, no. I only played the first Gears of War. Kind of uh, the story, the characters. Doesn't oh. that only last for six or seven hours as well? Yeah, it's pretty short. Um, so yeah. more or less. But- Binary Domain probably has long more. Its cutscenes out outlast Gears of War. I'm pretty sure people were when they 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 made the comparison. It wasn't the amount of cutscenes. I think it was the the gameplay. Oh well, yeah. Well, having played it, at, uh, at I mean, when people game. play the demo, they're not gonna be like, "Oh fuck, this game has 40 hours of cutscenes." They're gonna know. They're not gonna know that. I mean, they're they're making a comparison to, for what Sega gave them, and that's the demo. So that's what they compare it to. I think once they, once people because like destroying the robots and all that and I'm saying well you're, you're saying oh if they buy the game they're gonna get it and I'm like well these people are probably not gonna buy the game I mean this is the first impression they got <laughs> this is the impression well, Sega's making yeah I, I suppose yeah the main problem is Sega themselves are trying to play to that cater to that without trying to say well look you can have Multiple cl- different cutscenes and a different story depending on which squad mates you have. And the robots blow up this way, but no, they're more like trying to focus on like Gears of War. It's really just Sega's own fault for not being able to market the game pro- properly. I think what it is is that uh, I think 
So I think it, Nagashi played fucking Gears of War and he really liked it and he's like, I could do this fucking better. And then he made Binary Domain. Because, <laughs> let's be honest, the gameplay, a lot of it, the concept is a lot like Gears of War, only robots who, who and they're not like, they're like more interesting to kill because the way they're designed. And I think it has it actually has you you like it your squad actually affects your mission unlike Gears of War which made no sense like it didn't matter yeah but didn't then again, the AR, I, sorry. I remember one I, well he doesn't like Gears of War but I I know a friend of mine who played through the Gears of War demo uh, and he really hated Binary Domain for everything it's worth he's like oh I always tried to hype him up for so long he's like. No, Sega have lost. Sega is just going for the third person market. This is trash. This is not going to be good. And all that constantly, like, this is a rip off of Gears of War. I, I like the way you're putting War. his voice on. Even I love though you don't know who he is. <laughs> he, he has a very deep voice. Anyway, he's. Oh, he, I'm a dumbass. He I like Gears of War. Oh. Sega ruined the cells. I got it. He played Gears of War 3. Yeah. Demo. No, I haven't played Gears uh, of War 3. But go on. Well, he hates. He completely hates Gears of War. And he's like saying, oh, the AI more or less played the game for him and killed all the bad guys. So it's like, what am I doing? And then the Binary Domain demo finally dropped. I'm like, no, I know you're going to hate it and everything. It happens to be his, probably going to be his favorite third-person shooter this generation. So, oh, I mean, you noticed that the AI... I love it when that happens. I love that when that happens as well. You sound so excited, man. <laughs> you really want that, your friend to love that game. <laughs> it's, it's so, you don't know how long I've been trying, how hard it was. It's like it's like trying to teach a bird to fly, and it fl- finally learned to fly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I think when people see Binary Domain, they're going to think, they're either going to think, oh, this is like Terminator and iRobot, or... They're going to think, oh, this is like Gears of oh, War. Oh, you're a bastard. That was actually another question we were going to have, and you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be oh, honest. Just... You already fucking ruined it. What is your favorite robotic... Oh, wait up. What is your favorite Sega robotic character and why? Go on. Uh, Vector Man. Vector Man. Huh? Vector Man. Dude, you guys are bastards. Oh, man, fuck this podcast. I'm out. You know <laughs> I knew you were going to say Vector Man. I knew know? it, because you... Because you talk to me about Vector Man all the time, so, <laughs> yeah, I, was... so I went with. <laughs> so I went you with. Set it. that up so just so I could talk about Vector Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Suck my Vector Man. Then yeah. we're talking about him. <laughs> it, it would be brilliant if you could have if there's DLC where you can play as Vector Man. Oh man, I fucking I. Oh man, I have. <laughs> Say doesn't want me to have erections anymore, so they don't do that. So... <laughs> They're like, uh, uh-uh, George, more erections. You you play bad with the other kids. Look what happened to the tweaker guy from Sonic Retro. <laughs> Alright, enough jokes about that. Anyway, um, uh, since we all like Vector Man, then Vector Man it is. If you had to choose two films that remind you of the premise of d- Binary Domain, which ones would they be? You already named them anyway. Uh, I, I haven't said Blade Runner yet, though. Oh, I was going to say Blade Runner right now, but now you ruined that too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Blade Runner because of the robots thinking they're humans. Uh, what else? Terminator because it's got robots in it. <laughs> iRobot because there's robots in it. Because it has a it has an uprising. It feels like it's like the beginning of Terminator, like the actual war, like the shit you actually wanted to see since part two. But we've all gained all these like crappy films about other crap. Yeah, it reminds me of the movie like um, Wall-E. 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 <laughs> Yeah, because uh, there's robots in it. Wally kind of reminded me of a Vector Man, another what great robot Ro- in Sega history, <laughs> because he picks up trash. What about RoboCop? Why Ro- like RoboCop? A, is there a robot cop in there? No, they're all hum- cyborgs. Then there you go. Wait. No, <laughs> no robot. No, in RoboCop three, there was there were there were robotic samurais. That's <laughs> so what? Just because it's in Japan? <laughs> I like I like the way you let me get away with Wally, but you won't let him get away yeah, with that. Cause, see, cause, see, I have a crush on on Sharky. I don't have a I don't have a crush on Aki, so that's the difference. You I can let, let Sharky get away with more shit than I can Aki. I'm more you should join the club because I'm pretty sure uh, 
Knuckles likes me as well. He fancies me a little bit. Yeah, I know. I heard you offered yourself the knife to him. I did, I did. I did. Million dollars. For some of his Jew money. Does it support you for the rest of your life? That's that's (laughs) basically what women do, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, (laughs) They're like, oh, I can't wait to get married and get fat. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, Who would. The worst part about that, the worst Uh, part is that Aki's going to have three wives like that. uh, (laughs) Can you imagine (laughs) for them? No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. Marry one every 15 years. There's the secret. Every 15- but they're all going to be fat. <laughs> well, it, why? Because... But it, I, I'm going to marry one when I'm at like 70, so I'm going to die soon, and she's going to be like really thin. So I don't have to worry. How? Well, I mean, it depends on like... Like, what do you mean marry every 15 years? Like, you're going to switch off? No, he's just going to... Accumu- any- he's going to accumulate I, 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 them. Fifteen years yeah. is too long for me. To... It's a point point system, one at a time. Yeah. Do you have to marry any that have like the full, the full suit on? You know, the full everything but the eyes. No, who told you, you that? Won't go, don't go for anything like that because that is like the world's worst pick and mix. You just yeah. don't know what you're gonna get. That's true. But when the when the hood comes off. What what is there? All you know is the eyes. Sure. What if she's... Where, where, where does the woman begin and human? No, where does the woman end and humanity begin? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work this into binary domains tagline, but it's it's kind of not working. Um, wait. So I don't understand why Aki's even talking about women. Doesn't he like already have a like somebody he's gonna marry when he's born? Uh, no, no. I don't think so. No, he's he's not I that. Don't, I don't. Crazy. Th- yeah, exactly. Unless she was hot, uh, no. Uh, oh, I guess it's... Oh, that's pretty weird. Can, Can you imagine that? Actually... Marrying somebody you don't even know? Fuck that. But what if she's hot? Even well, if the she's worst hot, part is well, you don't even know what she looks like. Because <laughs> all you can see is the little the little eye. The eye, the bit with the eyes. You know, they, you otherwise know, they got all you know, that... You know she's a bitch, dude. You know she is. Especially when she's Indian. Anyway, um... Okay, let's stop being racist and... <laughs> and, and let's move on to the next topic. Who would win in a, in a in a fight? Robots versus zombies. What if the robot can a robot become a zombie? No. Where does it? Where does the robot end and the zombie? The zombie begin. begin. <laughs> Stop <laughs> saying that. Um, I don't know. Well, you fuck your mind fucking me right now, man. Um, <laughs> I think zombies would lose because cold, robots are cold blooded killers with no blood. Or is this against zombies? What are they going to do? They're, they're cold-blooded <laughs> killers with no no blood. Yes, they're cold-blooded killers with no blood. They're unstoppable machines. They'll just repair, them, repair themselves. <laughs> Would zombies even want to attack robots if no. they have no food? Robots would want to attack fucking zombies. They're like, mm, why not? We're bored. We're robots. <laughs> this is what we do. Yeah, actually, it's kind of funny when you think about it. We've had games where you play as a human and you have to fight robots. Or aliens, so or, or Russians, or the zombies but, versus robots. Yeah, why don't we have that? Well, it's like World of Warcraft, but you could play like a zombie race or a robotic race, and you have to t- try to take over the world. Yeah, that'd be awesome. There, there we go. We we just made Sega a Facebook game that can make them millions. You're welcome, Sega. Uh, yeah. I'll take five percent of the of the profits. Like, and I I will take all the toys. There's yes, the profits from the toys you make. <laughs> All right, then. I, that's the last question I had. If you guys want to talk about anything else, add it now. If not, we're taking off now. Um, no, George, I'm, I love actually, you. He likes me. Uh-uh. Sorry, man. I'm only, I'm only, oh. to, I'm only into dudes that love me, not like me. <laughs> oh. All right, I'll see you guys next week, maybe, depending on time and schedule. We might have to skip a week, depending on the news we get. Oh yeah. Well, wait. We can talk about binary domain again next week, since it coming out. Yeah, we'll talk about what we thought about it. Uh, there's no co-op on it, so if you guys want to play multiplayer, uh, add me on M- on PSN. I don't have the game yet, so whenever it comes out. Well, yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I, sh- I should have it tomorrow. A great deal. Amazon have it for twenty nine pounds ninety nine. Anyone you know, tell them that tr- today. Oh yeah. Uh, I- I heard it was a 7 out of 10, so, like, might just skip it. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
night. Good night. Don't See you later. understand what's going on. <laughs>